ever wake up sometimes and just wonder, uh-uh, this is not my real face. Like, what's the meaning of all this? Anyways, if you like to see me go from this to this, uh-uh, fine, babe. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. If you like to see me transform, please keep on watching. <laughs> Quote of the day. Beauty is about being comfortable in your own skin. It's about knowing and accepting who you are. Before we go any further, please don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at FedraDA. Now let's start. So first things first, I start off with my hair. I'm using a mixture of conditioner and water in this spray bottle. And I just spritz that across my head just to give some moisture. And then I end up with this. If you like to see how I actually um, style my hair into this hairstyle, please let me know. It's actually super easy. Um, I'm natural, I'm sort of like 4B, 4C. Now, top tip, um, for good hair, good skin, good nails, good everything, please just drink water, it'll help you. I start off with the Benefit Professional Primer. Well, usually, today I decided not to cooperate with me and it didn't want to come out of the thing, but hey. Anyway, let's toss that out. So I'm actually going to go in with the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer now. This is a silicone based primer and it gives you like that nice slippy feel. I actually don't mind the feeling, I like it. Some people don't, but it fills my pores quite nicely and actually makes my makeup quite smooth, which I like. Now let's zoom in for the brows. Today I'm going to be using the MAC um, Brow Pencil in Stud. First of all, I just brush my eyebrows in the direction that I want them to go in, brush them up, then brush them sideways just to make sure they're flowing. Then I start off by drawing, like outlining the bottom of my brow, just making sure I get the shape that I want. And I go with really, really tiny strokes. And then from there, I gradually start to fill out the tail end of my brow. You wanna be really soft-handed here because you don't want to like put in too much product at once and each time just make sure you brush through the brows just to make sure the product is distributed nicely and it actually looks like hair so I noticed that the tail end of my brow was still a bit scanty so I'm just going back to fill that in remember don't overdo it we don't want a block as brows we want like more nice 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 brows yeah So now you can really see the difference between my natural brow and a filled in brow. And before I, whoa, we have two brows. I always have to film myself when I have brows. Anyway, so for cleanup, I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and a small angled brush. I'll just outline the bottom of my brow and then start to gradually bring down that concealer almost to my eyelids, but not fully. And I'll use a dense fluffy brush just to blend that out. Make sure you blend, blend, blend. Now onto the face, so I use the foundation, the Studio Fix, MAC Studio Fix Fully Foundation in NW45. Now I only put the foundation on my dark spots. Um, I live in a very hot country, well I'm in Dubai right now, and when I'm not in Dubai, I'm in Nigeria, and both of these countries are very hot. I also use my foundation to clean up my brows as you just saw. You want to really sort of have nice skin so that you don't really need that much makeup. So yeah, just focus on your skincare. Almost put less focus on the makeup when you have a really nice canvas. Like it's just easier for the makeup to apply. Is now I'm putting my concealer. I'm using the MAC mineralized concealer in NW45 and I'm taking a damp beauty blend just to blend that out. I would also take some of that concealer onto my eyelids just to help with any discoloration I have. Now I'm taking my Studio Fix powder in NW43 also by MAC 
I use a lot of MAC products just to set my under eyes. Now this powder is lighter than my natural skin tone. That's why I use it under my eyes just to like brighten a bit. Time to contour. I use powder contour and I use the sleek contour kit in deep dark. I take the contour shade um, along my cheekbones, down my neck, along my forehead and my jawline just to give me that nice, you know, chiseled look. And I also take a smaller contour brush and take that along my nose. And as you can see, I also bring that into my eyelids. Going back with my NW43 powder, just cleaning up underneath the contour just to make sure my contour actually stands out. And taking that above and below the contour, I'm putting that on my eyelids too because that will sort of be, act as my eyeshadow because I'm not really doing much to the eyes. Introducing the Star Palette. Woohoo! The Jackie Anna Palette. Oh my god, I love this palette to death. Ever since I started using it, like it's been my, yeah. Anyways, I'm taking the dark brown color and the light brown color and I'm just going to use that to sort of contour my eyelids, eyelids, wow, contour my eyelids even further. And this is like no makeup makeup. I mean soft glam. To me soft glam is basically makeup that looks like skin which is what I'm trying to achieve here. So I use a lot of browns, a lot of um, nudes, light browns, dark browns. I'm taking that lighter brown just to like diffuse the darker brown so that it's not like too harsh on, on my eyes. I'm using a fluffy brush, a very fluffy brush, so the product actually goes on like not too harsh. I'm also bringing that contour, that brown shade down the sides of my nose just to even intensify my contour. I use the Maybelline gel eyeliner by the way with the this is like the eyeliner brush it comes with I love this gel liner I've used it for so many so many years I don't use um, like pencil liners because those tend to like dry up quite quickly I prefer this the pot never actually like really dries up and it gives me so much control And for my mascara, I'm using the Clinique Mascara. And then I'm highlighting with the Sleek Contour Highlight Kit. The same deep dark. Now time for lashes. Um, I use the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I love Ardell Lashes because they're affordable, people. Get you some affordable lashes. If you want a more in-depth tutorial as to how I apply my lashes, please let me know. I'll be willing to also do that. They're actually super easy. I just like pop them on. And the glue I use, I also use the Ardell Lash Glue in black. We're almost done, people. Okay, next we have um, Fix Plus. So, I drench my face in this shit, okay? Like, I drench my face. And um, this is basically just to like lock in all the makeup you've done now. I didn't really do a lot, but yeah. Just, it makes your face just look like butter. Now I'm lining my lips with MAC Lip Liner in Chestnut. Draw the outline on my lip. Make sure I sort of like blend it by dabbing my lips together. My mom says that it's 
it looks like I'm chewing chewing gum but hey just like dab 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 make sure like you really blend out the line because you don't want any harsh lines so yeah that's what you're gonna see me do just watch it you you get what I'm saying here and make sure you also get the corners of your lips because a lot of people forget that I like a very defined cupid's bow so I always take my time like defining my cupid's bow Now I'm using the MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy and this is my recipe to the perfect nude lip. Chestnut, Velvet Teddy, like it never, yeah, it doesn't go wrong. Dab, dab, dab. I got this combo from Alyssa Ashley, by the way. Oh gosh, love her. And then I use my Fenty lip gloss in Fussy just to give me some gloss. And voila, just like that, the lips are done. And this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I mean, let me know in the comments below how you think I did. I mean, it's soft, it's not too much, it's just there. So yeah, we went from this, I mean, still a fine babe, to even finer babe. <laughs> yeah, just enjoy me being a fool. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you made it this far, thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, bye. Black screen.